Syracuse, New York, is home to a new movement in craft beer production. Nestled in the bar district of Armory Square, Empire Brewing Company leads the way with their sustainable agriculture model and the push for restaurants to buy local and be responsible. Craft breweries, defined as small, independent, and traditional in brewing methods but unique in ingredients, are opening at a rate of more than one per day around the nation. Americans in particular love their beer. Americans consumed 6.3 billion gallons of beer in 2011. I'd say a lot of the American beers are actually on the cutting edge, on the forefront of what's going on in the craft beer industry. Instead of just having the same flavor profile, just a different can, people have learned that you can get creative. Just like the emergence of different roasts and blends of coffee, uh, the learning how to appreciate the subtleties or appreciate different characteristics, different flavors, just like somebody would not say wines or scotches. I think the Americans are finally learning that you can do that with beer as well, and beer is something that Americans love. Americans love beer so much that Empire reached production capacity and expanded to Brooklyn, where a contract brewing alliance with Greenpoint Beer Works produces and distributes four styles of Empire's beer. Right now we're only distributed for retail in bars, restaurants, we're only kegging right now. We don't have a bottling line, we don't have a canning line, but that is something that we've put a lot of thought into for the new brewery. Right now we're currently on sale only in New York State, but we have a lot of interest from other states and once we have the brewery going it will be, the goal will be to go coast to coast and international. Empire's future Farmstead Brewery in Casanova, New York is a 40 mile drive from Syracuse. In July of 2014, Senator Charles Schumer of New York State supported Empire in their request to receive a $200,000 grant from the USDA and is scheduled to break ground in fall of 2014. Currently, the Armory Square Brew Pub is limited to 1,200 barrels a year with another 2,800 made in Brooklyn. The new brewery would make 10,000 to 12,000 barrels a year and add 50 new jobs, including an agro-tourism business that would boost the economy in central New York. Agro-tourism is a growing industry, especially in the central New York area where there's a huge push for local, for sustainable, for knowing where your products come from. At the brewery, we're actually going to have gardens where we're going to grow our own lavender, we're going to grow our own hops. We try to get as much as local as possible. Um, we're still trying to research exactly what we want to grow versus what will grow. There's, don't think many hop varietals that won't grow in Central New York. That's one of the reasons it was the hop capital for a while. New York State, specifically Central New York, attained national leadership in hops production in 1849 and was selling over 3 million pounds annually by 1855. The Empire State remained America's top hops producer, but lost its footing in the hops market when Prohibition slayed all things beer-related in the country. A killer fungus in the early 20th century also played its own role in putting the nail in the coffin of New York's hop industry. Oh, goodbye, boo. Forevermore. My foolish day will soon be ours. Governor Cuomo said in a July 2012 statement, the legislation signed today demonstrates that the new New York is truly working for small business, as this law will allow breweries and wineries the opportunity to invest in new opportunities and expand their operations. Why buy local and sustainable? As consumers climb aboard the local and sustainable agriculture scene, Businesses reduce shipping costs, get higher quality produce quickly, support local farmers, and put money back into central New York. Empire is definitely a unique restaurant. We do a lot of things that is an attempt to either be more environmentally friendly, more green, more sustainable, more local. So everything from becoming the first company in central New York to go 100% renewable energy. Uh, we get 100% of our, our electricity from a wind farm. Blue Rock Energy, and we instituted a composting program where all of our food scraps, all of our recyclable stuff goes into a composting program for the county using a food grade cooling product on the beer lines. So if something does happen to spill and we wash it down the drain, 
it's not gonna hurt the environment. It's food grade, it's completely biodegradable, it's completely food safe. I've never seen a restaurant where everybody from the head chef down to a busboy is this involved in the little things. A great place to work where everybody has an input and everybody has a stake in the idea of what we're doing and trying to do the best we can possibly do. One beer at a time.